So at this point, uh, we got a one module, one component. Uh, usually, a uh, root module is just uh, the starting point of our application, and we have features, and we create a module per feature, right? So let's uh, create, let's create a product feature module. Then we're gonna uh, generate component there, uh, products list, we'll call it products list. And all this uh, markup will be inside of products list component. This way we can extract the markup and the templates uh, can be cleaner. Okay, so ng generate module product. So product is generated, product module. Uh, inside there, we're going to, so right click here, open integrated terminal. Uh, we can generate component, G generate component, products, list, all right, let's generate that. Okay, so few things on module. So CLI imported that inside the module, it's in declaration. For the component to be available for other uh, modules that are going to import our product module, we also need to export it. So we'll do that, exports. We're going to export it. Okay. Now uh, we create module, we need to import it in the root that is going to use it. Um, and product module. Okay, it's here, it found it. Uh, let's take Let's take the markup from the root. This is this was our plan, and move it and move it to the markup. Move it to the markup of the products list component. Okay, so it's not aware of Kendo breed and. Uh, we imported grid module in the root module here. So we're gonna take it off here. Now root doesn't need, uh, doesn't need to be aware of grid module. So we'll delete that. And we're gonna import it here, grid module. Okay, control dot from grid. Also, the TypeScript. Uh, let's move the TypeScript from the root to the products list. TypeScript. Okay, let's fix the imports. Control that again. Okay. Process. So let's take products. Thing we did in the last video. Process comes from here. All right. Let's uh, let's NG serve it.